Hello guys, welcome to our 11th tutorial for CodeHub uh, with Laravel. In this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and make our comments from the previous tutorial, or the post actually. We're gonna go ahead and make it look a little better when we're displaying the post themselves. All right, before we even begin, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and under the database folder, open the migrations. And also go to the create, let me make this window a little bigger here. So the create post table in here, we need to insert the user ID as the foreign key as well. The reason is we need to know which user actually was posted or uh, yeah, posted the uh, question. So I'm gonna call this user ID. Uh, let me copy this and refer the reference is ID on, of course, the users table and save this. Now that we have this new migration, what we would do is we need to migrate this. So open your command line, navigate to the project folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate there. I'm gonna do czamp. Code hub. And then once I'm here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna PHP artisan gonna roll back the existing migration. And what this will do is gonna get rid of all the other stuff that we have there. And I'm gonna migrate again. So just type PHP artisan migrate to put everything back. And now we should have the user ID in the uh, post table as well. So let me go up and localhost here, go to the database, go to post structure, and you should see the user ID there as well. All right, now that we got rid of that, if we refresh this page, we have no post showing up. So we, just, we see no post found, and we don't have a user either. So let me go ahead and register, and I'm gonna say, just register. So J Smith Gmail. And I'm gonna register and it's gonna log me in and register me. So now that I've been logged in, I'm gonna go ahead and post something here. I'm gonna say anyone know to anyone know PHP? And I'm gonna make a category here. So since we didn't do that, we need since I removed the categories from here actually, because we rolled back the migration, I need to insert some categories. So let me go ahead and insert some categories very quickly here. So I'm gonna insert about um, five rows, and I'm gonna do here a name PHP Java CSS HTML and CSS yeah and C plus plus let's do that and go so now that I have some data for the categories let me refresh this again I'm gonna go ahead and say just type a title here and does anyone know PHP and then of course the category you're gonna select PHP here and I'm gonna select I have a quick question and then just type can just type something here just to test it and then I'm gonna post it <coughs> and it's gonna redirect me home okay so we're getting an insert here integrity violation error update Oh yes, so what this is wrong here, we need to go back to our controller here. Since we inserted the, the, the new column in the uh, in the table in the migration, in the post, we need to do that in the controller as well in order to allow them to uh, actually insert that user ID in the table itself as well. Currently we're not doing that. 
and we're just giving nothing and it cannot accept that since it's a foreign key it needs a valid um, id user id so to fix that is simple just go into our forum controller here and where we're saving the post we need to save the also the user id so to do that i'm gonna do post just like we did down here and instead of category id now you want to do the user id and set that equal to the auth authenticated user and then his id so she will be the one posting and if i go back and i save it now it should work but of course we will need to include the uh since we are using the auth class here we also need to include that auth class otherwise it's not going to work so we need to simply just include that class and once so it's just the illuminate path so you need to go illuminate support facades and then you need to go to the facade and include off so i'm going to just include that class so let me go back and try this one more time and there you go it was posted successfully okay so now that we have this working and it was actually it did post the tutorial Ah, sorry posted the comment let's go ahead and make it a little bit prettier here but before we do that open the user model here and we need to create the relationship between the user and the post so what we want to do here I'm going to type public function posts because a user can have many posts and we're going to simply return this has many so it's going to be a one-to-many relationship a user can have many posts and a each post has to belong to a user so here we just type the path of where the post is so it's app models and where the post class is here uh, the post class is under models and then post so we need to just type post and save that and here we just know that yeah, each user can have many posts and this will link the relationships if we go inside here then we also need to have the relationship here too so public function user and let's return so what we're saying here we're saying that each post has to belong to a user so we have a one-to-many relationship each user can have many posts and each post belongs to a user so now that we have created these two relationships we can go inside here our home where we're displaying the <coughs> each post and let's go ahead and make this look a little prettier so for now i'm just going to comment this out actually let me just get rid of this all together and in here let's go ahead and type our new code so we're going to create a div here and a div we're going to give it a class of well and these are all bootstrap classes so there's no css that we need for this so we're going to have a class a div here and we're going to have a class of well and then let's do another div here and we're going to have another class just call media and same thing here let me just go back one and inside that we're going to have another div and we're going to have another um, def uh, bootstrap defined class here which is media body inside here we're gonna have a header so let's go ahead and do a h4 and in here will be the title of the uh, of the post so what I want to do here is I want to type post and give me the title of the post and let's go ahead and give this a class because we know so it has to be media and then this is gonna be the title so it's gonna be the heading of the media all right, so now that we have all that inside of here, let's go ahead and we can also display which user actually posted this. So I'm going to put a paragraph here. Class. And I'm just going to pull it to, let's say, to the right side. So you can display the username to the right side. So I'm going to say text right. It's not a bootstrap class. And here we're going to simply just do post and user and 
So what this does, since we created the relationship, what we're saying is, give me the user for the post. So give me the name of the user that posted this. That's what that that's what is exactly doing. So now that we have all that, let's go ahead and print out the body of the post itself. So I'm gonna here and post. And what did we call that? I think it was the body, right? It was the title and body. So let me just call this body. All right, so now that we have all this, let's go ahead and just uh, run this and see if it actually gets something different here. So we do here see here, we see did anyone, and we see the body, and we see the posted by a guy here. So it was posted by John Smith. But actually, we can just type by, so we can see, so it will look a little better. So if we do that, we can say by John Smith. And you can actually change this around, guys. You can play around, but this is like a simple formatting, so we can make it look a little bit better than what it actually looked before. Yeah, so once we do all that, let's go ahead and add some more styling or other other things that we might need here. So I'm gonna have an unordered list here and give it a class of, so we're gonna give it a list inline. So let me close this one, I opened this by mistake. So, list and inline list so all these classes that I'm mentioning they're all bootstrap classes so you can also go to bootstrap and see all these classes and we don't want any style on this so let me let's go ahead and list our items here so list item and what well, what we might want to display first let's say like we can display when this was posted so we can have a date of when this was posted so I'm gonna put a spawn here. And close that spawn. <coughs> and you can actually use icons as well. So let's go ahead and use an icon here. So we need to find some kind of icon that resembles time. So let's put class and Let's use Glyphicon and this one you can go ahead and look at the this is also you can see in the bootstrap site so I'm gonna do that and let me enlarge this so you guys can see and Glyphicon and give it calendar because I guess that they have an icon for calendar and that represents time or a date or some of some sort and here we can print out the created a date if you guys want so when were the post when was the post inserted in our database so we can say post and created at and let's go ahead and refresh this so you see she's as you see here we see the date also pop up <coughs> but here it will print out the unformatted date to make it look uh, nicer we can use another class which is a carbon is called carbon is laravel which ad, uh, formats uh, can provide different formats for time and uh, date so you can use this function called uh, diff for humans and if you save that and refresh it you're gonna see this in a much better format so you can see that this was posted seven minutes ago okay so now that we did that <coughs> uh, what else we want to display here is let's say how many comments this has but we're going to be doing that in the next tutorial because we will have to keep track. We have to create a migration for the comments and also the migration. Yeah, and then we also have to write the code to actually store the comments or replies to the post itself. So we're going to do that next tutorial, but we can have a placeholder for that. And here I'm just going to say comments and save this. So as you can see here, instead of comments, we can display like a number and comments, how many comments this has. And then in the next tutorial we're gonna do that and also when they click on this they're gonna we're gonna go to the next page which will show this and also um, a form where they can reply to this forum so this was a simple editing for this guys and uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial and next tutorial we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next page where we can see the actual post and we can reply to it so thanks for watching this tutorial and stick around for the next one guys